Uh, Gary, thank you for your response. Something that I fundamentally disagree with is the dis disequilibrium that you uh, allege exists between myself and the universe. I don't believe that that is a uh, logical um, imbalance. I don't believe that there really is uh, an imbalance between my obligation to myself and my obligation to the universe. Um, and the reason I say this is as follows. If everything in the universe has an equal sense of obligation to itself and the universe, then ultimately we have an equilibrium. We have each individual treating the universe and itself uh, as more or less equals. Um, if I have a bigger obligation to the universe as a whole than the universe has to me, then essentially what I'm saying is uh, there are entities out there that actually have less of a sense of obligation to the universe uh, than they have to themselves. That's the real disequilibrium that is inherent in your formula. I would say that if one person out there in the universe has more of a sense of obligation to the universe than to his or herself, that would create a disequilibrium for somebody else in the universe. <laughs> You're creating an asymmetry there that doesn't actually exist. Don't forget, there's more than just me in this universe. <laughs> Thanks for your response.